It seems that for as long as humans have been alive, they've wanted to go on holiday. Of course, ancient humans didn't really have package holidays to go on or roller coasters to ride, but that didn't stop them from getting around. In fact, in much the same way that modern groups fly to foreign countries to get absolutely slaughtered, the ancient Romans used to do the exact same thing. Utilising their excellent road networks, they travelled far and wide, visiting monuments, religious sites, and even going to the Olympics. On top of all this, they started writing guidebooks, hiring tour guides, buying second homes, going to festivals, visiting temples not because they were religious but because they wanted to see them, and suddenly this all starts to sound very familiar. So, given all this, and looking at the title of this video, it probably won't surprise you to find out that they also shared another key ingredient to modern tourism, the first tourist trap. But first, a bit of background. In around the 5th century BC, E? A group you may have heard of called the Spartans were doing their thing, fighting wars, being mysterious, and getting ripped. When suddenly, 300-ish of them, and a couple thousand other Greeks who weren't interesting enough to be made into a movie, decided to go and kill a bunch of Persians. Unsurprisingly, they all died, but their sacrifices inspired all of Greece to band together and repel the invading Persian army, and they all lived happily ever after. A side effect of this story was the widespread adoption of the notion that the Spartans were badass, a reputation which continues to this day, and as time marched on, history happened, and the Spartan influence fell considerably. However, the idea of the Spartans being badass warriors lived on, and soon became their main defence. Nobody wanted to attack the mighty warriors of Sparta, and so even as the Spartan civilization dwindled, they kept up appearances and created new ways to sound even more insane both in real life and on the battlefield. Fast forward, and funnily enough, the militaristic society of ancient Rome absolutely loved the hyper-militaristic legends of Sparta, enough so that when Romans began to tour around the ancient world of Greece, at the top of their list was going to see how the Spartans trained so that they too could learn the way of the warrior. Not only did the Spartans, who were by now a struggling civilization surviving on the reputation of their ancestors, begin accepting Roman tourists, they absolutely milked them for all they were worth. An entire amphitheatre was constructed for the sole purpose of fitting in more Roman tourists paying to watch shows of both real and made up Spartan traditions, such as boys stealing cheese whilst being whipped. After which, tourists were guided around by Spartans dressed in traditional battle armour and given the chance to learn how they too could become a mighty warrior. Of course, none of this was done to portray a genuine image of Spartan society, but rather to get the Romans hooked, rake in the Uriae, and get a good score on TripAdvisor. The whole experience was about as genuine as going to see the Mona Lisa, but in Sparta's defence, their scheme was only a few selfies away from being just as effective, in the same way that today everyone knows Disneyland is the happiest place on earth and Paris is the city of love, every ancient Roman knew that Sparta was the place to go to learn how to become a legendary warrior, in that although you may not actually get what you went for, you'll have been distracted and spent enough money that you can convince yourself you had a good time anyway. And hey, in the end, even now we still associate the Spartans with images of elite soldiers and military excellence, so if nothing else, it must have been memorable. This video was inspired by a discussion on the BBC podcast You're Dead To Me, specifically the pilot episode which was, unsurprisingly, about the Spartans. It's funny, it's easy to listen to, and if you made it to the end of this video then you'll probably like them too, so I'd thoroughly recommend checking it out. And special thanks to Michael Scott for reading this script and checking I actually sounded like I knew what I was on about.